Hello everyone. Very good morning to all of you. Let me see if I am clearly visible audible. I will start the class ahead. Give me a minute. Yes, I hope it is working. So I welcome you all for today's session. A very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Priyanka Sachdev here and today I am here to take a new series of microbiology that is virology. So I am going to cover entire virology on free classes. Some of the classes will be on YouTube and some of the classes will be on special free classes on an academy app, an academy platform. But all the classes will be free. So entire virology daily I will teach you virology for two hours and in this this week and uh, i guess in next five days we are going to complete virology so i will start with general virology today so today both lectures both hours we are having general virology after that we will start with dna viruses i will teach you virology in a unique way in which i will ask you to make comparative tables between all important 15 20 dna and rna viruses and do a comparative analysis between them so that all the mcqs whether whatever is your competitive exam all the mcqs can be cracked from those charts but before that we have to understand the general of virology the classification the cultivation the replication of the viruses so let me start are you people with me i guess you are with me okay so let me start with virology okay before starting with virology i would like to tell you some properties of the viruses what are viruses viruses are different from bacteria how they are different from bacteria what are the differences between virus and bacteria we all know that viruses are or smallest obligate intracellular agents. What do you mean by that? So this is a virus. Virus cannot survive outside the host cell. For surviving and for replicating the virus, virus require, require a host cell. Host cell. Now this host cell, this host cell can be human cell, can be animal cell, can be any cell. So virus will survive only inside the host cell. It will replicate and cause the disease inside the host cell. But bacteria can survive outside the host cell and can do the replication outside the host cell. So I can say viruses are obligate. Obligate means compulsory. Obligate intracellular organisms. Obligate intracellular organisms. So that is the first thing. You can see what are viruses. These are smallest obligate intracellular uh, organisms. In viruses we have either DNA or RNA never both. So viruses are of two types. As a genetic material in them either DNA is present or RNA is present. But never both is present, never both. Humans have DNA as genetic material inside the nucleus. But humans have also three types of RNA, mRNA, rRNA, tRNA, we know. It is not the case with virus. Viruses either have DNA as a genetic material or RNA as a genetic material that will do the classification of viruses. We can kill bacteria by antibiotics, but we cannot kill viruses by using antibiotics. Because bacteria and virus structure is different. So if you want to kill a virus, you have to use interferons. So, to, to kill bacteria, you have to use antibiotics. These are the drugs which kill bacteria. But viruses are resistant to antibiotics. Antibiotics. They are sensitive to interferons. So, we can kill the virus with the help of the interferon. Right. Now, this is the basic structure of a virus. You can see, I will explain you the structure. Virus do not have any metabolic activity outside the living cell, the host cell. Right. Viruses do not have ribosome, endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria, enzymes no nothing viruses don't have anything viruses only have two things in their structure i'm coming on the structure right okay all viruses are heat labile all viruses are heat labile with few exceptions they are killed by the heat okay so based on this general properties there is one mcq which is asked in your previous year question which of the following is false about the virus i'm asking a false statement can you write your answer in the chat box so, I have told you everything about the general properties of a virus. Now, I will teach you the structure of the virus. Before that, there is one question in the previous year exam questions from the general properties. So, topic by topic, we will do PYQs also. So, which of the following statement is false about the virus? Ribosomes are absent. Is it false? No, it is true. Um, uh, viruses do not have ribosomes. Mitochondria are absent. It is also true. So, mitochondria are also absent. Motility is absent. It is also true. Motility is absent. But nucleic acid is not absent either dna or rna but never both one of the nucleic acid is always present so this statement is false that's why c not c d is the correct answer rrns and the other person it is d the correct answer not the c you got it so these three statements are correct there is no mobility in the viruses viruses are not mobile 
mitochondria is absent ribosome is absent these three statements are correct but nucleic acid is not absent nucleic acid is present you got your point you got why it is c is wrong and d is the correct answer give me a thumbs up if you realize your mistake give me a thumbs up have you got it so nucleic acid absent this is the wrong statement viruses always have either dna or rna it is not the case nucleic acid is absent right this is the next question this is the next question which of the following is always present in a virus are enzymes present in a virus are envelope always present in a virus or dna or rna always present in the virus or all of the above what you will say now in this case what you will say a b c d these are the four options in front of you you tell me what you will say now in this question what you will say yes very good very good rishinika uh what k call r r n s you all are right the correct answer here is c so dna rna is always present in a virus okay so let me start let me start very interesting topic the morphology of virus i am going to teach you viruses under four headings the size of the virus the structure of the virus the symmetry of the virus and the shape of the virus and in each topic we will do the relevant mcqs which are already asked in your previous year question papers let me start with the size of the virus let me start with the size of the virus now can anyone tell me what is the size of the virus okay what is the size of bacteria what is the size of bacteria bacteria are measured in micrometer micro means 10 to the power minus 6 that's why it is visible under microscope what is the size of viruses what is the size of virus virus is measured in nanometer nano means 10 to the power minus 9 now you yourself compare the size of a bacteria and the size of a virus micrometer versus nanometer so can i say viruses are thousand times smaller thousand times smaller than bacteria can i say this so viruses bacteria are visible under microscope microscope is an instrument which can magnify up to micrometer that's why known as micro microscope means micrometer it is not nanoscope so under microscope viruses are not visible under light microscope if you want to see a virus it is not visible under light microscope you have to use electron microscope you have to use electron microscope have you got it electron microscope yes very good so nanometer may we use so we used to measure the viruses in nanometer nanometer right now among the dna viruses there are only six dna viruses the uh, six DNA viruses are in front of you. The mnemonic is there are two H, one A, and triple P. I will tell you these are the six DNA viruses. Let me tell you what are the two H, herpes and hepadna. Herpes and hepadna are the two H. Only one A, adeno. Never forget, only one A, adeno. And three P. P is always a confusion. There are three P in DNA viruses: pox virus, polioma virus, and parvovirus. Polioma and papilloma. In dono ko mila ke, um, papilloma and polioma. Okay, you you can say like that also. Papova bhi kehte hain se. Papova, combining the two. We can say Papova virus. So the three P are Pox virus, Papova virus and Parvo virus. Pox, Papova and Parvo. So total six DNA viruses are there. In the world, in our syllabus, I will teach you all six. Tomorrow I am going to teach you a comparative table between the six. So these are the six DNA viruses. Now among DNA, which is the smallest and which is the largest? It is visible. They are arranged according to their size in decreasing order. You can see both are 1, 1 P. Smallest is Parvo. Can you see the smallest? See the diagram. It is smallest. And the largest is Pox. Can you see the diagram? It is very large. So Pox is the largest and Parvo is the smallest among DNA, among the six DNA viruses. So among the DNA, smallest and largest is done. Yes or no? Yes or no? There are many RNA viruses. The important one are in front of you. Uh, for RNA viruses, okay, these are the important ones. I will tell you the entire list later on, but these are the important RNA viruses. Among the RNA viruses, which is the smallest and largest? Again, 2P. Smallest, we can see it is Picorna, Picorna virus and largest, we can see it is Paramyxo. Largest, we can see it is Paramyxo and it is Picorna. The word Picorna means small and Paramyxo, the, bada bhai, the elder brother of Myxo. That's why it is the largest one. So, total, we are having we are having six things which are with us what are the six things uh, so you tell me among the dna which is the smallest which is the largest among the rna which is the smallest which is the largest and overall overall which is the smallest which is the largest so six mcqs are in front of you you have to tell me the answers of all so start with dna which is the smallest dna rna dna virus which is the smallest i have told you now which is the smallest write down Smallest, it is Parvo. Smallest DNA is Parvo. Pox is largest, not smallest. Largest is Pox. Largest DNA is Pox. So both are P. Both are P, P. Here also we are having two P. 
What is the 2P? So tell me the smallest RNA now. Smallest RNA is picorna. 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 Picor. Pico means small. Pico. Pico. Picorna. And largest is paramyxo. The elder brother of myxo. So paramyxo. Since it is paramyxo, it is largest. The elder brother of myxo. Right. So P, 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 P. Never get confused in the P. In these P. Now examiner will give you these four options. A, B, C, D. Whatever is the question. Yehi char options hai. A, B, C, D. You have to pick up the correct answer without getting confused. Now let me come on overall. Overall. Now there are two small now. This one and this one. In the nomi se which is more smaller? That is the overall smallest among DNA or RNA. So parvo is more smaller. So answer here is parvo. That is among the DNA and overall also. Right. Now there are two. There are two larger, largest. Pox is largest among DNA and paramyxo is largest among RNA. But among them, if we compare these two, largest, largest. So pox is more larger as compared to paramyxo. So answer here is pox. So both are DNA only. Both are DNA. The overall is also from DNA. So this is the summary in front of you what I want to say. You can see uh, among the DNA, smallest and largest. That is parvo and pox. Among the RNA, smallest and largest, you can see picorna and paramyxo. And overall, this is overall. These two are overall. Overall is same as that of DNA. Is that of DNA. That is parvo and pox. So overall are not from RNA. Overall are from DNA. Now you give me a thumbs up if you got the answer of six questions. Smallest DNA, smallest RNA. Largest DNA, largest RNA. Overall smallest, overall largest. Give me a thumbs up. I want thumbs up from everyone. So that is about the size. You can't imagine kis, kitne questions are See the questions. Yourself see the question. Now you tell me what is the answer. You yourself tell me what is the answer. Smallest DNA virus. The four options are in front of you. Is it herpes? Is it adeno? Is it parvo? Is it pox? What is the answer? ABCD me se kya hai answer? I am asking you. Come on, tell me what is what is the answer. Who will tell me? What is the answer here? Yes? So yes, you all are right. The correct answer here is very good. Very good. The correct answer here is parvo. So correct answer here is parvo. Yes, C is the. So in this, if I am changing the question, instead of smallest, I am asking largest DNA. Now your, what is your answer? I have changed the question. Instead of smallest, I am asking the largest. The largest DNA virus. The same four options. Now what is your answer? Now what is your answer? Yes, yes, you all are right. Now your answer will become D. Your answer. So based what is the question, that will be your answer. Now see, the virus with the smallest genome, I am not mentioning either DNA or RNA. So if nothing is mentioned, I am asking overall. If I am mentioning some DNA, RNA, you should consider that. If nothing is mentioned, consider the overall smallest. I want to ask overall smallest. Now what is your answer? So there are two smallest. Parvo is smallest among DNA. We know. And Picorna is smallest among RNA. So what is your answer? B or C? B or C me se kya bolna chaoge? What you, you would like to say? I want to ask overall na? If I have not mentioned anything in the question means it is overall. And I am not asking for DNA. I am not asking for RNA in the question. Question is generalized. So it is overall. I want to ask overall. So what is your answer? What is your answer? You all are right. Very good. Very good. So very good. RRNS Priyanka. Dr. Priyanka. Yes. Everyone. Rishinika. So Bodeko. Everything. Everyone is right. So correct answer here is par. So overall be DNA wala hi hai. Right. So that is the thing. That is the thing. So let me come on the structure of the virus. We are done with size. Now let me start the structure of the virus. In virus, two things are compulsory. Can you see? This is a virus. Inside the virus, we have nucleic acid. See, the red color I am marking with blue. This is nucleic acid. Now this nucleic acid can be DNA, can be RNA. In human cell, we also have double-stranded DNA as a nucleic acid. But that is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. And we have a cell. So inside the cell, we have a nuclear membrane. This is the nuclear membrane. Inside which nucleic acid is present. But in viruses, do, they do not have nuclear membrane. They have nucleic acid in the cytoplasm only. You can see there is no nuclear membrane. This is the nucleic acid present inside the virus cell. There is no nuclear membrane around it. Right, this is the complete viral cell. So number one, nucleic acid 4 is present. Right, in human it is always DNA. But in virus it can be DNA, it can be RNA, but never both. Never both. Number one, nucleic acid is always present. The second thing which is present is the protein covering. There is a protein covering. Can you see this protein covering? This is a protein covering. So this protein covering, it is a polymer. It is made up of monomers. The name of the monomer is capsomer. So multiple, one, two, three, four, five, multiple capsomer combined together to form this covering. It is known as capsid. So capsid is made up of capsomer. Capsomer is the monomer. Capsid is the polymer. And this capsid and capsomer are protein. These are the protein shell. So these two things are compulsorily present in all viruses. Everyone give me a thumbs up. 
न्यूक्लिक एसिड प्लस कैप्सिड प्रेजेंट इन ऑल वायरसेस ऑल मींस ऑल गिव मी अ थम्स अप नाउ सम वायरसेस हैव द थर्ड थिंग सम डू नॉट हैव इट इज नॉट कंपलसरी द थर्ड थिंग अबव दिस यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम देयर इज अ एनवेलप दिस वन आई एम मार्किंग दिस वन इज अ एनवेलप बट एनवेलप इज नॉट कंपलसरीली प्रेजेंट इट कैन बी प्रेजेंट इन सम नाउ इन दिस वायरस द एनवेलप इज एब्सेंट इट इज इन दिस वायरस इट इज प्रेजेंट सो यू कैन सी सम वायरसेस आर नॉन एनवेलप some viruses are enveloped it is not compulsory but the first two things are compulsory envelope is not compulsory and the fourth thing on the envelope on the envelope can you see these papillary projections let me draw the spiky projections can you see the spiky projections here these are spiky projections these are known as papillomer again these are not compulsory some viruses have papillomer some do not have papillomer so finally two things are common nucleic acid and capsid these two things are present in all 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 viruses but envelope and papillomer are not compulsorily present in all all in some they are present in some they are absent give me a thumbs up so some viruses are enveloped some are non enveloped some in some papillomer is present in some papillomer is absent but nucleocapsid is present in all viruses that is the summary till now do you got it have you got it say yes or no so nucleic acid is the genome it is always present it is always surrounded by a protein coat the protein coat is the capsid it is made up of capsomer so can i say nucleocapsid is always present nucleocapsid is always present but envelope some have some do not have papillomer some has so nucleocapsid is always 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 present but envelope is something sometimes present sometimes absent let me start with nucleic acid you got the structure viral structure so this is the nucleic acid it can be dna it can be rna but always present and surrounding it there is a protein covering this protein covering is capsid it is made up of monomer capsomer capsomer combined together 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so multiple combined together and they form a polymer which is known as capsid capsid is made up of capsomer yes yes rrns very good so based on the nucleic acid as it is of two type i have told you na it can be dna it can be rna viruses classified classified into two categories so classification of virus is based on the nucleic acid the virus having dna are known as dna viruses the viruses having rna are known as rna am viruses i have told you either dna or rna is present never both so basically viruses are of two type dna viruses and rna viruses so let me tell you the classification dna viruses are only six in number as i have told you so the mnemonic is this h h a p p p h h a p p p you can learn like happy or whatever you want total 6 dna viruses you have to learn please learn what are the 2h the 2h are herpes and hepatina herpes and hepatina what is the 1a a is adeno what are the 3p one is smallest one is largest so parvo and pox it is the smallest one it is the largest one aur uske beech mein ek aur p hai papova give me a thumbs up learn like this learn like this yes so these are the name of the families not viruses these are the six families virus families are there they have multiple members inside them let me tell you few members so inside pox pox viridi family we have variola virus i will teach you variola tomorrow vaccinia virus cow pox monkey pox tana pox molluscum contagiosum so i am going to teach you all these but in tomorrow's lecture in herpes viridi we are having total eight viruses so hsv1 hsv2 vaccine varicella zoster ebv cmv various viruses kaposi sarcoma various viruses are there in adenoviridi we have only one virus adenovirus in parvo we have three but important is parvo only parvo mein parvo hi hai papova mein again three viruses are important and hepatina mein hepatitis b is important so there are multiple members in the families so you have to learn the name of the families and inside them each of them what are the members inside each of them for the sake of classification you have to learn it give me a thumbs up so that is about the that is about the dna viruses so among the dna viruses okay one more thing these all are dna viruses are uh, dna is double stranded or single stranded you tell me you all have dna in your cells na humans have dna so dna are double stranded or single stranded you tell me normally all dna is double stranded so all these dna viruses are double stranded because dna is always double stranded this double stranded dna is linear linear double stranded uh, dna is there it is not circular like bacteria bacteria have circular dna viruses are linear double stranded like humans it is linear double stranded except one among them one is having single stranded dna which among the six among the six one is having single stranded dna you have to learn the exception so the answer is parvo which is the smallest 
स्मॉलेस्ट भी है ना पारो के बारे में टू थिंग्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट नंबर वन दिस पारो इज स्मॉलेस्ट स्मॉलेस्ट डीएनए स्मॉलेस्ट डीएनए वायरस स्मॉलेस्ट ओवरऑल वायरस नॉट ओनली डीएनए स्मॉलेस्ट ओवरऑल वायरस एंड दिस इज हैविंग सिंगल स्ट्रैंडेड डीएनए नॉट डबल स्ट्रैंडेड all other, it is a dna virus but it is not double stranded dna it is single stranded so three things are important among parvo jis pe questions aate hain rest remaining five have double stranded dna you got my point so h h a t p p so this is herpes this is hepadina this is adeno this is pox this is parvo this is papova you know the full form right now all of them these five these all are dna DNA तो सब है दिस इज ऑल्सो डी एन ए दिस इज ऑल्सो डी एन ए बट द फर्स्ट फाइव आर डबल स्ट्रेंडेड डी एन ए एंड पार्वो नॉट पेपो आई एम सॉरी पार्वो इज हैविंग सिंगल स्ट्रेंडेड डी एन ए गिव मी अम्स अपट इज माई पॉइंट एवरी वन गिव मी अम्स अप सो यू हैव टू लर्न दैट सो ऑल डी एन ए वायरस हैव डबल स्ट्रेंडेड डी एन ए एक्सेप्ट पार्वो वायरस विच इज हैविंग सिंगल स्ट्रेंडेड डी एन ए दिस इज एन एक्सेप्शन एंड यू हैव टू लर्न इट नॉ सी सी द डायग्राम यू कैन सी द सिक्स डी एन ए वायरस आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू so only parvo is single stranded dna rest remaining five are double stranded dna give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up so parvo is in single strand remaining five are double strand you got my point parvo is the smallest rest all are larger than parvo so you can see this one is the parvo right it is having single stranded dna remaining five have double stranded dna all our dna i agree i agree but only one is single stranded and remaining five are double stranded parvo is the smallest fox is the largest so till now concepts are clear to you let me come on rna viruses so let me tell you the name of the rna viruses these are all rna viruses we have to learn so there is a mnemonic for it i will tell you the mnemonic can you see what i am writing here let me see it is a b c d not e it is f a b c d f a b okay you can't see it i guess uh, okay a b c d f a b c d f p h c o r f t so this is the mnemonic this is the mnemonic i will mark the full form so a means arena b means bunya c means calci c means calci there are two c a c a b c d mein ek c p h c mein so another c is corona so two c's are there calci and corona d is delta d is delta you can see d is delta एफ भी दो है ए बी सी डी एफ एंड आर एफ टी में भी एफ है तो टू एफ इज देयर फाइलो एंड फ्लेवी फाइलो एंड फ्लेवी टू एफ आर देयर पी पी भी दो है पी टू कर लो उसको पी टू पी टू सो देर आर टू पी वन इज स्मॉलेस्ट वन इज लार्जेस्ट यू नो द टू पी आई गेस पैरामिक्स इज द लार्जेस्ट एंड पेकोरना इज द स्मॉलेस्ट सो टू पी इज देयर एच एच इज हेपे हेपे it is not herpes it is not hepadna it is hepe hepe virus herpes hepadna are dna viruses and hepe is a rna virus O is orthomyxo. O is orthomyxo. You can see R. Again, there are two R: Rio, Retro, and Rhabdo. So R ko bhi two kar lo. And what is T? T is Toga. T is Toga. So I guess P two R two. So final mnemonic is in front of you. A B C D F. A B C D E ki jagah F. Then P H C. Primary health clinic. You can say primary health center. And R F T. R F T. यहां पे लगा दो ओ पी टू एंड आर टू ओनली पी एंड आर आर टू रिमेनिंग आर गिवन रिमेनिंग आर गिवन एवरी वन गिवी अम्स अप एवरी वन गिवीस अप यस हिपेटाइटिस ई इज ऑल्सो आर एन ए वायरस आई नो बट इट इज द नेम ऑफ द फैमिलीज वॉडेक आई एम टेलिंग यू इन साइड दीज फैमिलीज द मेंबर्स आर देयर हिपेटाइटिस ई इज वन ऑफ द मेंबर सो आई विल टेल यू वेयर इट इज सो एवरी वन गिवी अम्स अप एवरी वन मीन्स एवरी वन गिवी अम्स अप एवरी वन यू गॉट इट सो एरिना बुनिया कैलसी delta right phylo one is phylo one is flavi right the 2p picorna uh, and paramyxo right hepe coronavirus coronavirus orthomyxo virus the two are rio and rhabdo and t is toga everyone give me a thumbs up so count how many are they 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 total 14 rna viruses are there so tell me the name of six dna viruses and 14 rna viruses you know the names i guess you know the names so what is the mnemonic okay the mnemonic here is h h a triple p happy is the mnemonic what is the mnemonic there the mnemonic there is a b c d f p h c o r f t make p2 and r2 so that is the mnemonic there okay now the important things among these among these which is the smallest which is the largest the 2p smallest and largest 1p is pox it is largest dna 
one is parvo it is smallest here also the 2p smallest and largest one is picorna it is the smallest and one is paramyxo it is the largest ye to hua smallest largest ki baat right iske baad single stranded double stranded very very important very very important these are the dna viruses na the six are the dna viruses and these 14 are the rna viruses now all dna viruses are double stranded and all rna viruses are single stranded we know rna are str single stranded na no? normal rna is single stranded so these are single stranded all dna viruses are double stranded except parvo which is single stranded right all rna viruses are single stranded normally tell me one rna virus which double stranded only one rna virus which is double stranded does anyone know only one rna virus which is double stranded so one of the r that is rio rio virus rio virus is a virus which is having double stranded rna which is unusual normal rna single stranded hote hain so it is double stranded rna give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so that is the thing so among the six now till now what we have got we have got that there are six dna viruses you know the names of the families along with the members inside them and there are 14 rna viruses you should know the names along with their families and the members the first thing is the classification many questions can be cracked on classification which is a dna virus which of the following is not a dna virus which of the following is a rna virus which of the following is not a rna virus simple questions the most simple question based on classification theek hai after that which is the smallest and largest in dna which is the smallest and largest in rna which is the smallest and largest overall theek hai six questions here hue uske baad which of the following is a single stranded dna which of the following is a double stranded rna so that you have to learn ye sab previous year questions hain give me a thumbs up if no if till now you got it right so you got it i guess you i guess you got it till now you can see these all are rna viruses only one is double stranded that is that is rio virus and remaining all are single stranded remaining all are single stranded give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so this is written here all rna viruses are single stranded except rio virus which is a double stranded everyone give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up uh you can see here also it is single stranded everything it is ss 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 except this it is ds ds means double stranded uh, apart from it it is ss means single stranded all of them are ss so only rio virus is double stranded you can see it here also everyone give me a thumbs up right one more thing about the nucleic acid of the rna viruses all these are the rna viruses now they all have rna the 14 viruses they all have rna of course you know the names among these 14 viruses four have segmented rna you know rna is single stranded usually it is single so this is single stranded rna but it is fragmented in pieces it is in pieces fragmented fragmented means it is in pieces in some of them so which of them have fragmented rna it is rna it is single stranded rna not double stranded but which of them have fragmented so the mnemonic is bora b o r a four of them so it is bunia b o means orthomyxo r means rio and a means arena ye rio wahi hai jisme it is double stranded double stranded rna right so bora as the mnemonic is pe bhi bahut questions aate hain right so that is the summary till now you want me to repeat the summary or you got it or you got it okay for the newcomers let me tell you the name of six dna viruses and the name of 14 rna viruses first tell me the name sabse pehla step hai you should know the classification without which you can't do anything so the six dna viruses is h h a p p p right herpes hepatna adeno pox parvo papova the 14 rna viruses is a b c d f a b c d f right p h c p2 kar do p h c o r f t r f t r2 kar do right so these are the total 14 rna viruses you know the full form i guess i should not repeat it right now among them which is smallest and which is largest so among dna the smallest is parvo and the largest is pox so this is smallest this is largest pp among rna the 2p what are the 2p what are the 2p it is picorna which is the smallest and paramyxo it is the largest chalo okay smallest largest ka chapter over right coming to the next chapter next chapter is single stranded and double stranded who will tell me the summary what is the summary all dna viruses are double stranded we know dna is a double stranded and all rna viruses are single stranded there is one one exception in both of them i want to know that exception so dna means which is the exception all dna viruses are double stranded only one is single stranded so that what is that exception the exception is parvo parvo is a single stranded dna virus rest all are double stranded 
and among the RNA, all RNA are single stranded, but only one. One is R. R is Rio. Rio. One of the R. Two R are Rhabdo and Rio. I'm not talking about Rhabdo. I'm talking about Rio. So Rio is the exception. It is having double stranded RNA. Rest all RNA are single stranded RNA. Chalo, smallest, largest is over. Single stranded, double stranded is over. Right. Coming to one more story. What is the third story there? Ek aur story batati ho yahi pe. One more story I would like to tell you here is RNA mein. In RNA, four of the RNA viruses, total 14 mein se four viruses have fragmented, fragmented RNA. The segmented or fragmented RNA. So the mnemonic is BORA, B-O-R-A. So B, BUNIA, O, orthomixo, R, it is RIO only, RIO. R and A is ARENA. So BORA is the mnemonic. Give me a thumbs up. You should learn how many fragments are there in each of them. So uh, should I... Uh, uh, go ahead of this page. I cannot come on this page again. It will be gone. So, have you note down everything? So, you can see Bora. In Bora, mein, Bunia, mein, three fragments are there. Orthomixo, mein, eight fragments are there. Rio, mein, 10 to 12 fragments are there. And in Arena, two fragments are there. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. So, we would like to do some questions, some posts based on this concept. I want answer from all of you. Which of the following is not a DNA virus? Not. So, based on the classification, the simplest question I can ask. Which of the following is not a DNA virus? You tell me the answer. You yourself tell me the answer. Which of the following is not a DNA virus? Who will tell me? Who will tell me? So, what K, what Kola, you are right. Anyone else? I have told you, na, the 6 DNA and the 14 RNA. So, Ramaya, you are also right. Anyone else? I want everyone to participate here. Come on. At max, you will be wrong. Na? The four options are Parvo, Pepova, Pox and Brebdo. So, you know, yes, Priyanka, you are also right. What are the 6 DNA viruses? The six DNA viruses is H H A P P P. This is the mnemonic. These are the six DNA viruses. So it is herpes, hepadna, adeno, parvo, pox, papova. So all three P are there. Parvo, pox, and papova. These three are DNA viruses. But rhabdovirus is the RNA virus. Rhabdovirus is the RNA virus. Yes, you all are right. Yes, Krishna, you are also right. Yes, among the RNA viruses, what was the mnemonic in RNA viruses? The mnemonic was A, B, C, D, F, P, H, C, O, R, F, T. So, 2P and 2R. Among the 2R, one of the R is Rhabdo. Another is Rio. So, RNA viruses mein hai Rhabdo. Rhabdo virus. It is not a DNA virus. So, correct answer is D. So, many, many, many such questions can be asked simply from the classification. Okay. The next one is in front of you. I guess you should participate. Uh, the question is segmented or fragmented. One and the same thing. Segmented or fragmented genome is found in all except. So, which of the following do not have fragmented DNA or fragmented genome? So, I have told you the viruses with fragmented genome. The name of the viruses which have fragmented genome, I have already told you the name. So, most of you are saying, some of you are saying D, some of you are saying A. What is the answer? What is the answer? Okay. What is the mnemonic? Fragmented ka mnemonic kya hai? The mnemonic is Bora. All four are RNA viruses. Bora. So, B is Bunia. So, of course, Bunia is having fragment. O is orthomixo. Right? O is orthomixo. So, I guess influenza virus is an orthomixo virus. Yes or no? What is R? R is Rio. So, influenza virus is the type. Orthomixo is the family inside which the member is the influenza. The various type of influenza. R. What is R? R is Rio, not Rhabdo. R is Rio and A is Arena. So, Rhabdovirus is the answer. The answer here is the D. It is Rhabdovirus. Many of you have said A as the answer. Have you realized your mis mistake? What, uh, what echo? Have you realized it is not A, it is D. Because influenza, I agree, mnemonic mein influenza nahi aara hai. But in the mnemonic, you have orthomixo na? Orthomixo is the family inside which we have influenza virus. Give me a thumbs up. So the correct answer here is D. Rhabdovirus is not fragmented. Rhabdovirus is not fragmented, right? Orthomixo mein influenza virus is there. So B, O, R, A. These are the Bora. Bora is the mnemonic. Never forget. Should I proceed ahead? You all are right. Very good. You all are right. Coming to the next question. Difficult one. I am warning. It is a difficult question. It is having two answers. Not one. It is a PGI question. Pali PGI hua karti thi na? Nowadays it is replaced by INICT. So PGI have multiple options correct. Tell me the two options which are correct. Okay. I will read the question for you. Don't worry. In which of the following has genome double stranded nucleic acid? I am not saying double-stranded DNA or double-stranded RNA. Both will work. So, which of the following have either double-stranded DNA, wo bhi answer chalega, and double-stranded RNA. I am saying double-stranded nucleic acid. Which of the four 
have which of the following four have double stranded nucleic acid so the two options you tell me two answers are correct write two answers either it is a b b c c d a d d b what are the two options correct so krishna swami is saying b c let me see i don't know let me see it is difficult i am warning you again and again i guess none of you will be right but try it at least try it so you apply na i have told you what about dna viruses what about rna viruses you yourself tell me so there are six dna viruses what are the six dna viruses among dna viruses the summary is that all dna viruses have double stranded except parvo which is single stranded right that is the summary among dna what is the summary among rna all rna are single stranded except except rio which is double stranded this is the summary am i right is the summary is right is the summary is right now some is saying cd some is saying bd some is saying bc i don't know okay let me apply it now everyone concentrate is the summary is right i'm asking you one question is the summary what i have written here are you agree with this are you agree with this or you do not agree so all dna viruses are double stranded except parvo which is single stranded you know this and all rna viruses are single stranded except rio which is double stranded now read your question now read it, your question and apply it you yourself will apply it what is the question which of the following have double stranded nucleic acid so double stranded is present either in all dna or in rio or in rio either in all dna or in rio so rio of course rio is a rna virus but it is an exception rna viruses are single stranded but this is having double stranded so one of the answer is d right and among them uh, all dna viruses except parvo so parvo ko hata do parvo don't have uh, parvo don't have uh, double stranded parvo is, you can see parvo is having single stranded single stranded dna so parvo is not double stranded rio is double stranded you can see the two exceptions i have considered now ortho and pox ortho mixo is a rna virus among the classification you should know ortho mixo A B C D P H C O O है ये और pox virus is a DNA virus. They are not coming in exceptions. So all DNA viruses are double stranded. So of course it is also double stranded. This one is double stranded, but all RNA viruses are single stranded. So this one is single stranded. So my final answer I'm reaching is B and D. Now कितने लोगों ने B D कहा था? How many of you told B D? So unexpected turn, uh, Krishna Swami, and uh, it is not yes pox and Rio. Doctor Priyanka. uh what a co uh, so many of you are right i guess and others are also i can't see but those who are right okay i'm not interested in them congratulation you are right you got it but the one who are wrong have you realized why you are wrong jo log wrong hai unko realize hua where you are you got your mistake give me a thumbs up if you got it so correct answer here is b and d so this is how you have to apply your knowledge the correct answer is b and d so the summary is in front of you so all dna viruses are double stranded all dna viruses except parvo virus which is a single strand dna virus that is the summary among dna all rna viruses are single stranded except rio which is a double stranded this is the summary you can't afford to forget it give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so we are done with the nucleic acid based on nucleic acid i have told you what are dna viruses what are rna viruses which is smallest which is largest which is single stranded which is double stranded i am coming on the second thing capsid the protein capsid now all uh, genomic material the nucleic acid is surrounded by a protein covering the protein covering is known as capsid it is made up of proteins it is a protein it is made up of monomers the monomers are known as capsomers they combine together to form the polymer the polymer is known as capsid that is made up of that is made up of now what are the functions of the capsid why viruses are provided with this capsid why can anyone tell me the functions of the capsid what are the functions of the capsid the first function it protects the virus it protects the nucleic acid of the virus the nucleic acid is protected by this capsid imagine if this capsid is not there nucleic acid is direct under danger so to protect the nucleic acid number 1 number 2 when this virus enters human body so it can attach to the host cell with the help of this capsid so capsid helps in attachment or adsorption on the host cell so it is helping in attachment or adsorption on the host cell number 2 number 3 it is providing a symmetry to the virus you can see the virus is symmetrical i will tell you the name of the symmetries also so this is providing the symmetry to the virus and this is antigenic when this virus enter in human blood the body will form antibodies against this capsid against this protein capsid so these are the four functions of the capsid give me a thumbs up let me come on the envelope now after that some viruses have envelope some do not have envelope envelope is not necessary that all viruses have certain have certain do not have as i have told you capsid is always made up of protein what is the composition of envelope 
envelope is not protein it is lipoprotein so it is having lipid as well as protein capsid is protein envelope is lipoprotein capsid is always present envelope sometimes in some virus it is present in some virus it is absent give me a thumbs up so lipoprotein hai to lipid kon banata hai protein kon banata hai so okay uh, okay see uh, uh, let me show you a diagram okay so this is the host cell this is the nucleus of the host cell imagine this is a human cell and this is the virus entering inside the this is nucleic acid and capsid so this is the virus entering inside the host cell since it is intracellular organism so after entering inside the host cell the virus is forming the envelope so envelope is made up of lipoprotein na so lipid component the lipid component and the protein component so together will constitute the envelope the lipid component is provided by the host and the protein component is formed by virus itself so virus is forming envelope with, with the help of the host akela envelope nahi bana sakta virus virus cannot make envelope alone for making envelope virus require a host cell because the lipid component of the envelope is provided by the host and the protein component is provided by the virus give me a thumbs up so the lipid has largely derived from the host cell and protein is virus encoded only give me a thumbs up you can see you all can see this is the envelope here this is the envelope this is the envelope of the virus what are the functions of the envelope envelope is susceptible for the solvents like chloroform so if all viruses dissolve in the chloroform and the ethers so if you if you if you put chloroform or ether or any other solvent on the virus the virus envelope will dissolve and the virus will die it will become susceptible so because of the envelope it is susceptible to various solvents number 1 and it confers antigenic biological chemical properties to the virus right now tell me which viruses are enveloped which are not enveloped so among dna which of them are enveloped which of them are non enveloped among rna which are enveloped which are non enveloped so i will tell you the non enveloped one non enveloped ka main mnemonic bataungi dna viruses total 6 hote hain among the 6 the 3 are enveloped the 3 are non enveloped so kaun se 3 non enveloped hain so it is pap p a p it is papova adeno and parvo papova the 2 p are there pox is not there total 3 p's are there teen mein the pox is not there so parvo papova plus adeno these three are naked they don't have envelope the virus which don't have envelope is known as naked virus right so the remaining three obviously the remaining three are envelope so i am not enumerating them and among the rna total 14 viruses mein se only three are naked only three are non enveloped the remaining one are obviously they are enveloped so the three i will i would i would like to tell you those three the three the mnemonic is pcr p c r p is picorna p is picorna it is not paramyxo c is calci it is not corona and r is rio it is not rhabdo tino do do hain there are two p two c and two r in rna but among the two p which p is here among the two c which c is here and among the two r which r is there picorna is there paramyxo is not there calci is there corona is not there and rio is there rhabdo is not there so the other three are enveloped everyone is enveloped in teen ko chhod ke you got my point say yes or no you can see the six dna viruses are in front of you among the six dna c here is the envelope here is the envelope here is the envelope but here there is no envelope no envelope no envelope so that's why these three are enveloped virus and these three are naked virus naked so what is the mnemonic of naked p a p pap pap is the mnemonic and these all are rna viruses right total 14 rna viruses we are having among the rna viruses you can see only three are naked only three it do not have envelope the rest all have envelope 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 they have but the three which do not have is pcr p c r pcr give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up so based on the envelope we can classify them so you can see the classification dna viruses are six three are enveloped three are non enveloped rna viruses are total 14 three are non enveloped the remaining 11 are enveloped i cannot simplify it than this the one which are non enveloped there is a mnemonic for that so the mnemonic is pap in dna virus and the mnemonic is pcr in rna virus the remaining are obviously enveloped i cannot simplify it than this everyone give me a thumbs up everyone give me a thumbs up everyone 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 means everyone give me a thumbs up come on i want thumbs up from everyone you got my point you are not giving the thumbs up you got my point so what is the summary you tell me so let me give you the summary so who will tell me the dna viruses total 6 dna viruses the name and who will give me the rna viruses i am telling you final summary till now so rna viruses are total 14 tell me the names 
tell me the mnemonics at least so the mnemonic here in dna viruses it is h h a p p p the mnemonic in rna viruses it is a b c d p c r o r f t r f t the 2p and 2r i guess the protein viruses so you tell me three things among them which is the smallest largest pehle smallest largest khatam karte hain so among dna which is smallest among rna which is smallest among rna which is largest among dna which is largest so largest here is pox and smallest here is parvo right this is largest this is smallest same here the 2p yahan pe bhi dono p hain so the largest is paramyxo among rna and smallest is what for is picorna the smallest is picorna so largest among rna smallest among rna the first question the second question is you already know it is dna double stranded and single stranded so which are which all dna viruses are double stranded and all rna viruses are single stranded with one one exception so in dna the exception what was the exception the exception is parvo in parvo it is single stranded dna rest all are double stranded rest all are double stranded the exception in rna is one of the r that is rio 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 is double stranded rna rest all are single stranded rna right so that is about smallest largest bhi ho gaya that is about double stranded single stranded bhi ho gaya the third thing which i would like to tell you here in rna or overall which of them have a fragmented fragmented uh, nucleic acid so fragmented nucleic acid is present only in four the mnemonic is bora b that is bunia o is orthomyxo r is rio and a is arena so mnemonic is bora so bora is having fragmented a uh, nucleic acid there is no fragmented dna virus only fragmented rna viruses are there that is bora the third thing the fourth and the last thing i will tell you that the, the uh, envelope and non envelope so what is the summary of envelope and non envelope who will tell me the summary of envelope and non envelope among dna total six are there three are envelope three are non envelope so which are non envelope tell me the names of the non envelope the mnemonic is pap pap so it is p parvo it is p papova papova parvo hua papova hua and adeno it is adeno so these three parvo papova and adeno the remaining three are obviously enveloped ye teen naked hai these are non enveloped the mnemonic is for non enveloped it is not enveloped give me a thumbs up and among rna total 14 me se three are non enveloped the remaining 11 are enveloped so which three are non enveloped the mnemonic is pcr pcr are naked so i am telling you the mnemonic for naked naked pcr what is p what is p here P is picorna number one. It is not paramyxo. Picorna C is calci. It is not corona. It is calci and R is R is what is R? R is rio, not rapto. R is rio, not rapto. You got it. Give me a thumbs up. So that is the summary. That is the summary. So there are many polls based on it. There are many polls. Yes, there are many P. I know there are many P and P is going to confuse you among viruses. That's why I am telling you crystal clear to learn the concepts. Okay. so i am ending the lecture here because the time is over but i am continuing the lecture the free lecture again after 5 minutes take a break for 5 minutes and i am continuing the lecture not on youtube now i am continuing the lecture on special class on unacademy app so i guess you all may have unacademy learners app do you have it if you if you don't have just install from the play store go to the play store and install unacademy learners app and after installing select the category as neat pg neat pg is gold select select the gold as neat pg and you can see my live class after 5 minutes at 10 o'clock sharp so 10 am pe i am having episode 2 virology episode 2 virology episode 1 i have already taken here virology episode 2 i am taking on the special class of an academy it is a free class you all can join like youtube it is free but it is not on youtube it is on an academy platform but it is free like youtube only thing you will require a code to join it it is free but you require a code i am giving you the code don't worry no down the code is sachdev s a c h d v my surname sachdev tan so i am dr priyanka sachdev sachdev tan is the code so please everyone especially the newcomers who don't know how to go on the app use the code sachdev tan and watch my free class virology episode 2 on the app after 5 minutes have a break for 5 minutes i guess the link of that class is also given in the description of this youtube so if you go in the description of this youtube lecture you can find the link of the special class or you can directly go on the platform you can see the link there and click on it so virology episode 2 after 5 minutes you got it i want everyone to come there everyone means everyone uh, after that i am having few announcements for you just a second let me do those announcements and then you people can go and join me back after 5 minutes so just a second what are the few announcements for you let me see 
so thank you very much for being with me i really enjoyed teaching you i want you to give your feedback in the comment box how do you feel it do you find this lecture useful if you want some other topics to be taken by me in free classes please write down the name of the topic in the chat box i will definitely consider it my next class i have already announced it is after 5 minutes it is a free class on an academy platform it is known as special class right the code is sachdev 10 i am continuing virology there such dev tent i will continue the lecture there right please follow my profile link on an academy so you will get notification of all my free classes so please follow you can see my profile link there on an academy if you have to follow it for getting notification and use code such dev tent use code such dev tent to unlock the free classes and uh, this is the neat pg free calendar test that you have to give every week neat pg 2022 all india mock test an academy is conducting on 17th april at 9 am in the morning please every student participate in this the test is absolutely free it is a mock test of neat pg so please everyone participate using the same code such dev tan and see your all india rank all india rank prediction is there right an academy light that is an academy test series is already out if you don't want to take the complete subscription you can take subscription for test series only an academy prop one is already out uh so anatomy biochemistry and physiology these three subjects we will help you preparing for your university exam and next so various plans are available in front of you you can take the plan if you are interested for prop 1 preparation right on an academy we are having two subscription in plus you will get only an academy in iconic along with an academy you will get prep ladder access also so better to go with iconic if you are thinking of taking a subscription the price difference is very less once you take the subscription you will be eligible for all these batches by the top most educators of india i must say right okay so these are the various plans available with us in plus these are the various plans available with us in iconic and these are the various plans available with us in light light subscription is only test three only test series here an academy here an academy plus prep ladder so whatever you can see the minimum plan the maximum plan whatever plan fits to you you can take that plans check the price longer the plan cheaper it is so if you are a first prof second prof student go with a longer plan the 3 year 2 year 4 year so it will be per month more cost effective to you so you can imagine uh, if this is the trailer complete movie kaisa hoga so you should take the plan at least give a trial you definitely get benefit from it before taking any plan apply my code sachdev10 before payment you will get 10% discount or more discount if it is applicable so always you will get a discount if you apply this code so don't forget the code and please apply it before payment if you want to get discount on all these plans the code is s a c h d e v sachdev tan thank you very much join me after 5 minutes at 10 am sharp on an academy special class continuing virology bye bye see you all there